Hey everyone, I'll be here for Black Photon Studios. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom laser bolts in HitFilm Express for free. This is actually pretty simple and easy, and you don't need the Sci-Fi Adventure add-on pack to do this. So what you want to do is start by creating a new composite shot, then go to new layer, create a new plane, and call it laser bolt. Make it white, and click OK. We want to make this into a thin laser bolt, so select the rectangular mask tool in the viewer panel while the laser bolt plane on the timeline is selected and draw a rectangular mask about this size. Now select the freehand mask tool on the viewer panel and to give it pointed sides, right click on one of the two points on the left side and select make unlocked curve. Do the same for the right side. Straighten out the top and bottom and bring out the left and right sides of the mask a bit like so and make sure they're in line with each other. Now we want to feather out our mask edges since these hard edges look pretty unlaser like. So go to the mask shape controls and set the feather strength to 20. To add some glow to the laser bolt, go to the effects panel and search for the neon glow effect and drop that onto the laser bolt plane. We're going to adjust the settings of the neon glow effect to give it the right look. Open up the neon glow settings in the controls panel and set the intensity to 1. I'm going to make the glow color green. You can make it any color you like. Leave the expansion at 40 and increase the radius to 100. You could bring down the radius if you want a more compact and brighter glow. Lastly, I'm going to blur out the laser a bit. This is optional. Search for the blur effect in the effects panel and drop that under the neon glow effect. Set the radius to 15 and iterations to 2. There you go. That's pretty much it to creating the laser bolt. Now it's time to export our laser bolt. But we don't want to export it as an MV4 file, which would complicate things later while adding it to your movie. We want to export it as an image file instead. So go to the export tab and select the PNG sequence preset by double clicking on it. Go back to the Edit tab now and click on the Export Contents button in the Comp. Go to the Export tab again and click on the Start Exporting button. Once it's done exporting, I'm going to keep just one of the pictures and delete the rest of them since they're all the same. Another quicker and easier way of exporting your laser bolt as an image file is to go up to the top right corner in the viewer tab and in options select export frame. What that will do is export only the frame which your playhead is at. You don't really have to export your laser bolt effect, you could just set its blend mode to screen, drop your footage under it and start using it right there. But I like to export it so that I can import and use it whenever I want and also so it doesn't slow down hit film unnecessarily. Now I'm going to show you how to add this laser effect to your movie. I have my footage imported, so I'll right click it and make composite shot. I've already added a muzzle flash to the gun as you can see, and I just have to add the laser bolt. Import your laser image and drop it in your comp above the video layer on the timeline. Set the blend mode of your laser bolt layer to screen to remove the black background and blend it in with the scene well. If your footage is very bright, the laser may not be clearly visible. So you might have to use a glow effect or two to fix that. Or like I said before, you could bring down the radius of the neon glow itself. I'm going to drag the laser bolt layer on the timeline to the place where I want it to appear first. Right here. Play around with the position, scale, and rotation a bit until it's right. To animate the laser bolt moving, open up the laser bolt layer in the timeline and in the transform controls, enable keyframing for the position and scale properties. You'll see that two keyframes have been created on the timeline. Move ahead to the place where you want your laser out of frame and drag it outside the frame. As you can see, two more keyframes have been created on the timeline as soon as I change the layer's position and scale. It'll automatically animate the frames between one keyframe and the next. If the laser ball in your scene is supposed to be moving away from the camera, decrease the scale in the last frame in which it moves out of the visible area. If it's supposed to be moving closer, increase the scale. 
If you want to animate the rotation of the laser ball, then enable keyframing for the rotation property in the transform controls, and you can animate the rotation as well, in the same way. As you can see, obviously, the laser bolt doesn't match the color of the muzzle flash. Luckily, there's a simple solution for that. Grab the hue shift effect from the effects panel and drop that onto the laser bolt layer. I'm going to shift the hue to a nice blue to more or less match it to the color of the muzzle flash. Looks good. You can enhance your laser bolt effect slightly by turning on motion blur for the laser bolt layer. And that's all there is to creating your own custom laser bolts in HipFilm Express. I'll soon do a tutorial on how to do really cool muzzle flashes, and I'll also do tutorials about a bunch of other cool stuff. So heads up for that, thanks for watching, and subscribe if you want to support me. See you in the next video!